When online devices fail to show they are online and accessible on Peplinks and Control 2, you will need to do some troubleshooting. This video will walk you through the necessary steps. First, start by confirming the device is under warranty or that it has a valid and control subscription. Log into and control and go to the organization and group that your device is saved within. Select the device from the group list and you'll be taken to the device details page. See on the left under information for warranty and subscription details. A second step is to confirm the device has an active internet connection. You can do this in a number of different ways, such as going to fast.com and seeing if the speed test works. It should automatically load and start testing your speed, like this. See if you can ping ac1.peplink.com and ac2.peplink.com from a computer connected to the router. You can use command prompt for Windows or terminal for Mac. Simply type in ping space and then the address and hit enter. After a moment, hit control plus C and it will stop the ping test, giving you results. As long as the packets are being sent and received, you're all set. Check your firewall settings next. See under the advanced or network tab and then access rules on the left. Make sure the outgoing ports of UDP 5246 and TCP port 443 are not being blocked. To be especially sure the ports are not being blocked, you may use a port scanning program, such as Angry IP Scanner or NMAP. Just make sure it's looking at outgoing ports as incoming is usually the default search. Sometimes removing and re-adding the devices to InControl can help to get them back to an available status. From your group page, find the device list and click the edit button at the bottom left. Check the box beside the device in question, then click Actions above and select Remove. You'll get an alert asking if you want to retain or remove information for the device. We recommend you retain the information in this case. When ready, click the Add Devices button at the same page and enter the device's serial number. Click Next when done and then Confirm. Go back to the group dashboard and make sure that the device shows back up in the list. A static route at a LAN side might be the cause. The device uses its WAN IP address to initiate the InControl2 traffic. You can check this at the Network tab under Network Settings, as shown here. If you have checked the previous steps and the device still does not connect to InControl, there might be some issues with the device's DNS server or routing. If so, adding outbound rules for peplink.com on UBP port 5246 and TCP port 443 to route to local WAN interfaces usually solves the problem. Let's take a look at how that's done. Go to the Advanced or Network tab and select Outbound Policy on the left. Click Add Rule and give it a unique name. Confirm the checkbox is enabled. Leave source at any. Set the destination to domain name and enter peplink.com. Set the protocol to UDP and enter a single port of 5246. Change the algorithm to priority. Then drag and drop your WAN connections in the priority order they should connect. Click Save at the bottom of the page, then repeat the process. The difference is that we'll set the protocol to TCP and enter a single port of 443. Click Save, then apply changes at the top right. If you still have trouble at this time, we recommend reaching out to your Peplink reseller for support. If that's not possible, you may open a support ticket with Peplink at peplink.com under support at the top right. We hope you found this video helpful and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like it. Thank you for watching.